Have a look at the windscreen this morning. It is completely iced over. It's mighty cold this morning. It's just ticked over to one degree now and it's 7 a.m. So it's not like it's a super early start. And of course, we're off to do some fishing. Well, we're back at the hotties for some awesome land-based fishing action today. So we were here a few weeks ago and it went absolutely crazy. We caught so many Australian salmon and got up this morning and it is freezing. So it was zero degrees when I got up. Usually when that's the case, that means that the pumps are running and that's exactly what I've done. So I've jumped in the car this morning. You can see behind me there, that pump is a running. So we're really hoping that we can get stuck into some awesome fishing action again. And what we thought we'd do is we got so many questions from viewers last time when we're here and that's because a lot of guys come, they all fish in that same area and they all fish using the same sort of techniques and I like to do things a little bit differently. We're going to run through a whole heap of soft plastic fishing techniques while we're out here today. We're going to run through the gear, we're going to run through exactly what we're doing to hopefully help you get onto a few good land based fish as well. Should be a fun episode, let's hope those fish are still around. Fascinating, you can just see fish are just jumping out the water all just here. I'm pretty confident we'll get on straight away here. You can see there a fish just jumped right next to it a minute ago. A couple of little whines. Oh, was that a hit on the drop? I'd be very surprised. There we go. Oh, he's bit it off. Got him, got him. This is insane. This is so good. Look at that. <laughs> Especially when you can see him jump out the water and you just call your every catch. You're like, yep, we're gonna be on here. Look at this thing go. And there's the first fish today. So an Australian salmon, just working that little four inch whip bait in natural colors, just hopping it off the bottom. I think because the conditions are so cold, like it's literally one degree at the moment, we're just working the soft plastics nice and slow at the moment. We don't think they're gonna be in aggressive mood chasing things down. Starting to get some feeling in my fingers and my face, hopefully first of many. So we'll uh, we'll get him back and we'll see if we can get stuck into a few more. Just look at that, there was a fish there as well. Oh my God, look at that. Oh my God, they're coming this way. Cast one to your left, mate. There are two big risers just right there. Oh, here we go. He's hit it. He's hit it. Oh, got him. Got him. Yep, cast one there. This one feels good too. Oh, my. Yeah, yeah he's heavy. Oh, he spat it. No. He spat it. <laughs> Got him. I'll rig you up in a minute, yeah? Let's see if I drop this one or not. Oh, it's heavy, this one. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so 
got another. Nice work. Thank you, mate. Oh, it's so hard, don't they? Once they get near the rocks, they just find another gear. There's a few more rising right behind us, so we'll see if we can get a few more. Here for you. Oh, hey, you know what? No, yours. You oh, 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 you're on, you're on, you're on. Go, go, go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> go. Thank you. That's okay. You want it in your bucket? Yeah, thank you. There you go. Is it on still? How's that for timing? Oh, nice, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing and then two fish in 30 seconds. Good job. Yeah. Thank you very much. No problems. All right, so let's just take a moment out in between all those catches just to walk you through a handful of tips to get species in these areas like Australian salmon and tailor. And often they'll give you little clues to where they are. And often they'll jump out the water. There'll be little bubbling action. There'll be lots of birds congregated in one area. And what you'll find is 95% of the people are all sitting in that one spot right where the warm water comes out of the pump. And yet if you're prepared to walk and kind of find your own patches, that's often where you'll find a lot of the fish. And in my last two sessions here, I've caught that many fish. And as I've been walking back, I'm chatting to a lot of the local anglers and they've been saying that it's dead quiet. So I think that's been the key, is just to go walk and find your own patch. And just see them jumping up and busting up around here, cast one near them, bang, instantly on. So it's so good. And uh, there you go, look at that, more splashes. Let's get another. I really enjoy coming out with the one rod and reel combo. And I've got a backpack that's loaded with different soft plastics, different jig head weights, different lures. So typically what I'm trying to do is use a soft plastic that mimics the bait. Because you have to understand, because of that hot water pump that's running, you get so many bait congregated in this area. And that's what brings in the tailor and the Australian salmon, the brim, the pinkies, even the mulloway. So typically I'm going to start off with something that looks a little bit like that. And all that does is just a little whip bait that just replicates all of the bait in this area that all of those bigger predatory species that we're targeting are feeding on. I think one of the key things is to go with natural colours though. Your whites and your silvers, your translucent colours. There's a big fish that just rise there. It's just the, I reckon it's just the plastic, it's just the colour. I reckon they're eating all the smelt looking kind of... I kept, I kept hitting it, they just wouldn't hook up. And there's another one for you. He's a good size one too. There you go, that's unreal. I just can't get over how many of these Australian salmon we're catching. It's just a crazy, crazy amount. Natural soft plastics, working them nice and slow. It's just insane. The metal lures is another really good option. So come with, you know, different weights, you know, 10 grams all the way through to about 40 or 50 grams. And then just mix up the retrieves. You're gonna find some days, 
The fish are just in a feeding frenzy and they'll actively hit things. I'm getting a tap here if you believe it or not. Come on, hit it, hit it. Um, and some days they will actively hit it when you're working it back and burning it back really fast. And other days they're gonna be in a really slow sluggish mood. we have got to work it nice and slow, slow roll, hops off the bottom. And that's more what we're doing today. Today they're a little bit quieter. It might be for the fact that it is just so cold today that those fish are just shut down a little bit in terms of the way that they're hitting things. But all we're doing is we're walking up and down here. We're just waiting until we see a fish rise. We're following the birds and those key little simple things, chopping, changing lures, chopping, changing jig heads. And then you start to get into a pattern of what works really well on the day. And I think that's the real difference in people that catch a lot of fish consistently and people that just sit in the one spot and wait for them to happen. Um, yep, yep, got one. Here, here we go. They fight hard. Look at him go. That's a good one. Unfortunately, that soft plastic is gone now, but that is a good sized fish. My fingers are frozen. These rocks are not much fun. All right, mate, ready? Three, two, off you go. So I've got a seven foot rod. This is a three to six kilo rod. This is heavier than what I typically like to fish. So I think often a two to five kilo size rod is perfect for this sort of stuff. I've got a 2,500 size reel that's pulled with 15 pound braid and I run one rod length of 15 pound fluorocarbon leader. And what's been amazing is as I've been sitting here chatting to you for a minute or two, there's been four or five fish that have just jumped 10 or 15 meters away from me and that's usually the perfect sign. So when I'm walking up and down, that's exactly what I'm looking at. And then what I'll do is I'll sit in that one spot for maybe five, 10 minutes, do 10, 20 casts. If nothing's happening, I'm gonna get back on the move and try and find them. But hopefully a few little tips there to help you with your fishing. Let's get stuck back into the action. Got him, got him. Yep. Yep. Here we go. Another. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, they've been bloody finicky this morning, but there we go. There we go. The good news is it's starting to get a little bit warmer now. That's what it's all about here at the Warmies, just working those soft plastics nice and slowly. And you can see that is way down there. So uh, let's get another. Beautiful specimen. Look at that, you got the pump in the background there. That is pumping away and the salmon will play. All right, mate, ready for some air time. All right, cool. Now with these whip baits, the name pretty much gives it away. So what you're doing is you're casting it out you let it sink and you're trying to imitate a wounded bait fish and obviously these look so natural and what i do is you just wind up that slack and then just let it sit there and you'll find it's often on that pause when you'll get the hit so you go one two three four and then it's usually at this point that they'll hit it if they're around if you're using your pressed metal lures and stuff obviously you're just going to burn them back at a constant pace i find you don't get too snagged once you've cast out but obviously once you come in close you want to burn it back because otherwise you're just going to snag up what an awesome morning. So, caught a heap of fish, picked up a heap of rubbish, handed out a heap of fish, handed out a heap of soft plastics. What could be better? Oh, a little truth. All right, well, that's a wrap, everyone. It's a little bit warmer now, thank goodness, because it was absolutely freezing today. That was one of the coldest starts I can recall. And fishing was a tiny bit slower today than our last trip out here, but we did manage to get stuck into a few salmon, but it's really interesting how their behaviors change. So a few weeks ago when we were out here, they were just smashing soft plastics and metals and lures pretty much on the drop. Today, they were very, very finicky, but we still got into some great action, catching quite a few Australian salmon. You want to do some land-based fishing when those pumps are on around Melbourne, this is one of the best spots to head down to. So 
great to catch up with people in our local community and great to get stuck into some awesome fish land-based fishing here on the Yarra River. Anyway guys I hope you enjoyed the episode and I'll see you on our next show sometime soon. Take care everyone.